Hello! 76, 76 days to go into due date. The last day feels like five days. It's, yes. It's, it's been a long day been since we saw you yesterday. But these are good. Yeah, these How are, are good. How are you? Um, I'm, I'm good, just a little bit tired. Um, Lila's dealing with being a little bug. I think she gave me a little bit of it because I'm a little congested, but yeah, that's you know, parent life. You know when you have like a virus and it has, starts with a high fever and the whole thing and then at the end it breaks into a chest head cold? She just today, or last night, broke yeah. into that chest cold. So we had another day of, she was much more active when we were playing, but uh, she last night- She slept till 10 a.m. She morning. slept till 10 a.m., which was great for me because I was tired. I had a really big contraction last night. Gotta put you in your butt. And we kind of went, whoa. And I've just sort of been out all day today with that. I've, I was with Lila and moving around and, you know, doing stuff. I wasn't like on my back, but I was- It was challenging. It was a challenge today, yes. But overall feeling all right. There's just a lot of that lower pressure. I'm hearing a lot of moms talk about that. Not the round ligament pain, but the low, low pressure. When I go to stand up is when it really I'm sorry. Hits. There was something we missed. Yes, I wanted to read the Ovia from yesterday from the email because I forgot to do that. Ovia. From yesterday. Daily development. For yesterday. All that kicking baby Rosen walks doing may not be especially comfortable for you, mm -hmm. but it helps her sculpt her bones, joints, and muscles. It is. It's all about them building and learning yeah. things. 29 weeks pregnant. Tighter in the tummy. Tighter in the tummy. In the tummy. That's why I need to pee pee in the potty when we do the potty one. I'm such a parent. Mm -hmm. Your baby is growing too big for her apartment. Mm -hmm. You're 29 weeks pregnant. Yesterday. Growth spurt. Your baby will triple in weight between now and birth. I hope not. I'm sorry. No. What? No. If she were two and a half pounds right now, which is what you're saying you should be at 29 weeks, then that makes sense because then you have a seven pound, five ounce that's baby. Solidly average that, that's kid. a good baby. She's already three pounds, four ounces. So that I'm, means if she whole, triples in weight. Almost an 11 pound baby. Or I, that, that's, 10, that's over a 10 pound baby. Uh, almost 11 pounds. Because that's 6.8 and then 9.8. 10 10.2. 10 well, it goes up to 16 ounces. So it'd be a, a just under a 10 pound baby. I don't really want to push that out of my body. So I, I understand that they say triple the weight, but that made me go, huh? Wait. Because she's already reading so far ahead. The point is for ounces? Yes. Okay. So I'm learning this, that for some reason, why wouldn't it be like six? So I'm so confused, but then it's not point. It's three pounds, four ounces, which yeah, she is right but now. That's not, she's not 3.4. She's three, four. Well, now I'm confused. I don't remember which one they said. Yeah, me too. Is that three pounds, four ounces, or 3.4 pounds? 3.4 pounds, that's almost, that's like 3.6 ounces, 3.7 ounces. All I know is it said 3.4 at the doctor's yesterday. So I think it's three pounds, three, four ounces? Yeah, so that's probably that. Yeah. Okay. But triple in body weight. Woo! That's, uh, Lila was seven pounds, one. So that's seven pound, one ounce. I was seven pound, one ounce. Let's, you know, go with that. So now, for today. Oh, the daily development. Your womb is running out of room for baby Rosenwach. I think that's going to be a common theme that's not really from here on out now. Duh. So while the kicks might feel less forceful with less room to move, they shouldn't decrease in frequency. Mm. Insomnia. Many women have difficulty sleeping comfortably and sufficiently during pregnancy. Yes. Particularly. Particularly? Particularly during the third trimester. Over 80% of women experience some sleep difficulty over the course of their pregnancy. It's hard when you're trying to get into a comfortable position and then they wake up when you go to bed. So you're trying to like and nuzzle you, in and you can't go, sleep on your back and you're a back sleeper. And I'm a back, I'm a, I'm a back or a belly sleeper. My favorite position is on the belly with one leg up and one all the way straight. You can't do that at all. You're such a dancer. So trying to, yeah. So trying to find the right thing. It's Pardon me. Little tricky. You are. Pardon me. Cross you. Baby center. Baby center. Baby center. Is it safe to eat meat while pregnant? Yes. Okay, there's a lot of debate about this actually because steak is so high in iron <laughs> and really good for you and that's a good one to eat. But you can't eat rotisserie chicken. Correct. You can't eat hot dogs. You Correct. can't, any any processed meats that have been sitting, well, rotisserie chicken isn't processed, but it's the way it's, it's done. A, it's, it's, it's the long it's time that it's sitting. It can cause listeria to grow. You can cook it again Which though, normally was, is fine in those amounts, but that could be really bad for this. So fresh meats, lean meats, yes. Anything that comes packaged or has been sitting around like in a rotisserie style for a while, you can't, so no deli meats. So it's really interesting, but no some shawarma. women are like, whatever, and they just eat it and yeah, they're fine. Yeah. And then some women eat it and get sick. So I, I play a little more safe 
by it. You don't need food more than two days old, you know, things, things like that. He's been going to the shawarma spot he loves. I'll eat the falafel there. I've, but... I've pulled back in the last week and I will continue In the last to, week, yes, you have. To pull back. <laughs> Trying, but, but trying to like win that. some money from a friend. Win some money from a friend. If I have a better body than a certain person by a certain time of year. Oh, right. I win $40. That's right. That's 40 Yeah. Hey, date night. <laughs> For me. See what baby monitor's parents like best. This is another thing we keep talking about. And I know we mentioned it before because Lila still uses the Nanit that's in her room, which was the backup <laughs> monitor when she was little because we had got the Nanit system for her. Yeah. But then we were part of the Miku program. The Miku so the beta. Nanit became the beta program. So we had the Nanit be our travel monitor. And backup camera. And the backup camera. And it doesn't have, you know, the breathing patterns or anything set up in it. So for this new one, we're trying to figure out, do we get the new Nanit Plus, which is what this is suggesting, or see if our Miku can handle the upgrade to the new one. And, and just that. find out if the ghost came with us. And find out if the ghost came with us. We'll see. Well, 76 days to go. 76 days to go. Do you, know, you know what that means? What? It means tomorrow we're a quarter way through the countdown. Wow. What? Quarter life crisis. <sighs> quarter countdown crisis. Oh my gosh. Subscribe up here. Diddy is down here. Please <laughs> hit the like button and click the bell notifications. And send in those questions and comments. Love you too, Quinn. Mm -hmm.